available. In St. Martin Parish, one man is dead after police say he lost control of his vehicle and slammed into a building. According to investigators, 23-year-old Dominic Roy of Brobridge was coming around a curve in Arneville when he veered off the road and hit one of the new new arts and collect cultural collective buildings, causing both the car and building to erupt in flames. Roy died at the scene. Thousands of dollars worth of art is lost after that fiery crash as well. As Danielle Garcia reports, the building was not the first to be damaged at New News, but the staff says it won't stop them from moving forward. But uh, it went up fast because it was an old building. I mean, the yeah. wood was real dry, so it, it probably went up within a half hour it was to the ground. Seeing the building go up in flames, then turn into rubble, left owners and volunteers at New News stunned. Since um, the very early 1900s, this is when my grandfather moved over here, my great-grandfather. Um, this is where my mother grew up, so it means a lot. It's, we're real connected. John Gagne's family has owned the historical buildings for almost a century, and they are no stranger to wrecks. Oh, no, not again. We've had cars running into buildings around here right and left in the past 10 years. Or fires, as an identical building to this one also burned down in 2011. Well, what was your first reaction? Well, we weren't sure what building was on fire. We got the word uh, this morning, come over here and saw. I was glad it was that building instead of this one. George Arno, who has been a volunteer at the Art Center for eight years, says there were thousands of dollars worth of paintings and art in the event space. And you know, artists don't make a whole lot of money they, when they sell a painting. You know, sometimes it's for two or three months. They don't make that much money. But Arno says Nunu is not defined by their structures, but rather the people and art within them. We, we had some events planned for that building, but uh, we'll do it here or somewhere else, but we'll, we'll keep on going. They won't stop us. That's just one part of it. We just keep on going like the Energizer Bunny. In Arnaville, Danielle Garcia, KTC TV3. In Lafayette Parish, firefighters are investigating a 